Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of March 28th to April 3rd, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Taurus, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's see your energy, Taurus, for the week. All right, spirit angels and guides, show me the energy of Taurus in regards to love for this week. We have the moon in reverse, the nine of swords, the three of cups, the ace of swords, the ace of cups, the three of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have empress. Taurus, there's a strong energy here for some of you of you finding out something, finding out something, discovering something, um, re receiving some kind of insight, some kind of truth, but it's it doesn't make you feel happy with, with the Nine of Swords, whatever it is that you figured out or found out or learned about, you know, it doesn't make you feel happy. You know, this can just be a realization, like a internal realization, like an epiphany. Or it could be that you actually received information. We do have two threes here, three of cups and the three of pentacles. So for some of you, there is a third party situation that is an issue or that you've discovered Okay, hold on, let me see here. Let me get uh, some clarity about that Nine of Swords, Spirit. What's going on with the Nine of Swords? The Magician and the Page of Pentacles. For some of you, you're the one. I'm not sure if you're the one who has a third party. For some of you, Taurus. And that's what came to the light. There was there was lies here of some kind. Ace of Swords in reverse. Somebody was lying about something or hiding something. What's that about? A marriage with the Hierophant. For some of you, someone was hiding a marriage. Or someone was hiding the fact that they're, yeah, they're committed to someone. What's the Three of Pentacles? Star and the Ten of Pentacles. Why do I see that you want to reach out to this person or even apologize to this person, Taurus? That's kind of weird. Roles can be reversed, of, of course, but for some of you, I, I don't know why I see that you want to extend out an apology to whoever you're dealing with for some reason. We have justice and the world. Yeah, justice means that there was some kind of lie or some kind of deception and the world can represent endings. So for some of you, things ended between you and your person. 
What's this three of wands about spirit? So maybe you are thinking about like running after this person, chasing this person, or just, you know, you're just thinking about wanting to reconnect with them. What's the moon about, moon card? Nine of cups and temperance in reverse. Some of you see this person, whoever you're dealing with, as your wish fulfillment. As the person who represents wish fulfillment for you. What's the four of swords? Five of wands, king of cups in reverse. You're trying to recover some sense of balance and some sense of equilibrium that you lost for some reason. What's this two of wands? The chariots and the seven of wands. What? What is that chariot and the seven? What's the seven of wands about, Spirit? The wheel of fortune, the hermit in reverse. Some of you want to stop hiding. Some of you want to get out of hiding. You want to make an appearance. Page of Cups in reverse. And what's the chariot about? Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups. Some of you don't want to lose a specific person here. You don't want to lose them. You don't want you don't want uh, a permanent ending to happen between you two. You want things to get resolved. You want things to get, you know, to to come back to a place of balance and stability and equilibrium. All right, interesting. Well, that's for some of you Tauruses, because I can all, already I can already hear some people saying that they don't care about whoever they're dealing with and that they're not interested in any type of reconciliation. Um, that's This reading's not for you, if that's the case, because what's showing up here is someone, it's showing you as someone who wants to make things right, someone who wants to for some possibly apologize and someone who wants to recover the relationship. Okay, let's take a look at um, your person and let's see what is their energy. Right, spirit, spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of the person Taurus is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. We have Ten of Cups. We have Temperance. Page of Swords in reverse. Star. Four of Wands and King of Pentacles. At the bottom, we have Eight of Eight of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Okay, I feel like I'm getting another story here. For some of you, this person offered you an apology um, or asked you for a second chance, offered you an apology and asked you for a second chance, and you're conflicted about whether you want to accept, accept their offer or not. Um, but I do see that you have feelings for them, Taurus, but... You're not sure if you want to accept their apology because 
you don't want to be disappointed again. So that's that's another story that I see coming up here. Okay, in regards to their feelings or their energy here. We have the Ten of Cups here. So this person has thought about marriage with you or they've thought about having a long-term commitment, having a happily ever after with you. They want to heal the relationship with you. We have Temperance and the Star. So they want, they want things to be healed between you two. They're thinking about you or spying on you with the Page of Swords. Um, they are thinking about this broken relationship. Four of Wands in reverse can be a broken relationship, a separation. I do see that they want to recover the relationship. Oh, but they're holding back. Okay. I see. Knight of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Two of Swords. There could be a third party situation here going on with the three of swords and the five of wands there seems to be a lot of conflict here um getting in the way of of stability between you two yeah because we also have the tower which can be very intense and dramatic what is the four of cups about spirit Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Two of Swords, Queen of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Um, this person is definitely upset, though. They're upset about something. I do actually feel like they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to, to approach them, to take action towards them, to take a step towards them. What's the Four of Swords here? They want a new beginning with you, but I feel, yeah, they do want a new beginning with you, Five of Swords and the Fool. But I feel like they want a new beginning, but I feel like they're waiting for you to initiate that new beginning. All right, how does this person see Taurus? What is this person's current view of Taurus? Let's see how they're seeing you. How does this person see Taurus? Chariot in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like you're, like they feel like you're not interested or like you, they might feel like you've demonstrated or, or like you're showing them that you're not interested with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, or that's what you did in the past. And the Chariot in reverse, they see you as someone who's not willing to put in the work or put in the effort. Devil and the Empress in reverse. They see you as someone who is giving up on them or has has given up on them. And they see you as someone who's not really invested in them or in the relationship. What's the Empress here? There might be a little bit of a blame game is what I'm starting to feel here. Underneath the surface, I feel like there might be a little bit of a game blame, game, blame game going on between you two. Sorry, I can't talk. Okay. But why do I feel like both of you want each other, though? I kind of feel like both of you want each other, but the lack of communication is really hurting this relationship. Because I feel like you're not understanding each other or you're not really, um, you're not on the same page with each other. It does seem to be coming from a lack of communication. Um, 
healthy communication. What is holding this person back from Taurus spirit? We have the moon in reverse. Something was revealed. I keep, I keep seeing that something was revealed or something was said or something came up to the light. And the page of pentacles in reverse. They might feel like you have rejected them before. With the page of pentacles in reverse. They might feel like you've already rejected them in the past, so they have no reason to believe that you that you would accept them if they were to reach out to you because you've already rejected them prior. All right, Taurus, hopefully this makes sense. I'm going to continue in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are this person's real feelings for you, what are their real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.